Hi, everybody. Susan Gerbic here from Psychics Explained. It is a nice uh, rainy day here in California. And so I've got some time because I'm not outside in the garden like I've been. I got a cat. I got my own pencil. I got paper. Let's check out one of these um, videos that has been done by Matt Frazier. Okay, now Matt Frazier, as we know, is uh, been putting out a lot of videos on his channel. He says he's connecting to people's dead family members. This one was released February 16th, 2024, which is a day ago. I'm recording this on the 17th of February. And it already has 19,740 views, which is a lot for a day. Not a lot for somebody who says that they're communicating with the dead. Heck, I saw a tweet yesterday or today that was one of those, uh, you know, videos that had a, the, that was in Kansas city and they tackled the kids that were, that did the shooting. And that's like one tweet, it's like 24 seconds long or something like that. It's got a, a million or two views already. Oddly, nobody predicted that, did they? Wow. I don't think anybody predicted that. No, nobody predicted that. So uh, let's look at Matt Frazier connects mother with her two sons lost to tragic drowning. So probably going to be an emotional one. Um, this doesn't look like it's going to be pleasant. Anytime a child has died, it is, well, anytime anybody's died before the time they should be dying is tragic. But two sons, this sounds really awful. But uh, let's check it out. Pay attention to what is missing. Pay attention to when Matt Fraser uses um, the music to cue you for whenever to be um, emotional. I have not watched this. I've looked at some of the comments and the comments are all positive, of course. They all use that same phrase, not all, but I see this phrase often called uh, where they say he's the real deal. Why, why are we using the phrase real deal? I don't, I don't get it because I mean, if he's the real deal, he wouldn't be doing videos on, uh, for some people over zoom every so often and recording them and editing them down. Okay. So this is seven minutes, 30, seven minutes, three seconds, a little of its intro, a little of its outro. So is this cut down? Possibly. Um, it only is going to make his channel if he thinks it's a good video that makes reflects him in a positive way. I don't know if he's doing six minute, seven minute readings with people. That seems, I don't know, seven minute readings with people. So we don't know how much more is on here than than um, this cut out. Another thing that was pointed out to me by a gentleman who follows our channel. And I find this very interesting. He was saying, and I tried this out and I need to actually test this further. That when you sign on to Zoom, there is a period of time where you can hear and you can see, but it's you're not actually on the screen. So if there is dialogue going on between the people who are on the Zoom call and they're waiting for your, for your, um, your screen to show the saying that you're there. I mean, you're entered the room, but you're not yet like loaded into the Zoom screen. That person who's entering the room can still hear and can still see. So if they're saying anything privately before they think they're you're really there, that's information that could possibly be getting to um, the psychic who could hear it. All right, just FYI. I haven't seen this. I'm going to be taking notes. My cat left me. And let's check this out. Did they drown here in the physical? Yes. I saw what happened. One of the boys let the other boy out. Yes. They keep saying to me, my mom was looking for me. My mom was looking for me. And then you couldn't find them. First of all, when I'm connecting, there's a soul that I keep hearing hearing of that passed. Um, it, it was due to an operation or a procedure. Our uncle. Okay. And then also, I also see what's crazy. Two children that were lost as well. 
Where were the two souls that died? They're my boys. Your, you lost both, both children? Yes. I was hoping that wasn't the case because I knew something was up when I saw all these, all these souls coming through me and then they were handing me over two children. So how old were they when they passed? They were two and a half and three and a half. Okay. So know that they're here and they're together on the other side. What's crazy is, is that I kept seeing them being very young and I didn't know how old exactly they were. I didn't know if they were one or two, but they're showing me that those souls are there. And this is the hardest thing that I, I've ever had to do as a medium because I don't even know where to begin. First of all, I want you to know that they're coming through because right away when I'm connecting with your sons, they show me footprints. So do you have both sets of their footprints? I have their handprints. Perfect. And then they're also showing me when I'm connecting with them that there was some things that you kept, like that I feel like either they made with either a family member or in school, because I see like that there were like little cards or things that they had made you, because I, I see scribbles that they're showing me. And like you keeping on to their artwork when I'm connecting with them, does that make sense? Yes. But I'm also seeing that there's a lot of guilt here over their passing because when I'm connecting with them, a lot of their care fell on you. When I'm connecting with your boys, they're showing me there was an issue with their dad here in this world. They did, their real dad didn't have anything to do with them. Well, that would be why, because they're telling me about any type of relationship issues. It means that you had to take the responsibility of caring for these boys by yourself. And I'm not talking about your sister. I'm not talking about family members. I'm talking about that, you know, parents are meant to have you know, two, you know, a set of parents that they're watching over with them. And instead it was just you all the time. And then what's tough is, is that you were, you were balancing or trying to balance everything all at once they're showing me because your boys are here telling me that you were such an amazing mom to them, <laughs> even though that you feel like you failed them here in this world. I, I don't even know how to, how to begin with this. They're showing me so many things that are just so, so that's so tough. I mean, they're showing me you going back to the day of their passing. They're showing me about you going back to um, when they were laid to rest. And they, they're thanking you for picking out their outfits and their clothes. And I'm also seeing when I'm connecting, you burying them or, or laying to rest with them or putting with them, excuse me, stuffed animals and things like that. Because I see stuffed animals like all being, being coming out of a casket when I'm connecting with them. So please know that in heaven, they said, they said to me, Matt, I want to thank my mom for the way that she made us feel so so loved when we went to the other side i just saw a vision here first of all did they drown here in the physical yes i saw what happened because one of the boys let the other boy out and that's how i see di them dying because one followed the other do you understand that yes and that was what was so tough because they keep saying to me my mom was looking for me my mom was looking for me and then you couldn't find them. Please know that this was something that was just a mistake. It was an accident. And I have to tell you that your two sons are here because unfortunately they didn't know danger because they were so small. Yes. But you also have to give yourself a break because you have been stuck in the day in which they died. It's 12 years today. <laughs> so please know that your sons need you to know from the other side that not only are they okay and with God, but also they need you to move past that day because it's like every single day you think it's, it's almost like you wake up in a cold sweat thinking about what had happened. Do you know those children are actually sending you signs from the other side and those signs are birds. They actually send you birds to show me to let you know that they're there and with you. So do you see those birds? I see cardinals all the time. That's their way of letting you know that they're there and they're with you. Thank you. And then also at the at the other time, the other thing too that I have to tell you is this. Not only you had to go through two battles. You had to go through the battles of losing your sons, but also you went through the battle of the scrutiny of what everybody else had to say about you and people blaming you for their passing. But here's what I need you to know is that here in this world, it doesn't matter what anybody says, right? They can point fingers, they can say things, they can say anything that they want. Everybody has an opinion. But what I can tell you is this, is that your sons know the way that you loved them and cared about them and that the way that you would never let anything happen to them if you could prevent it. And accidents happen. And unfortunately it took their, their life. But the thing was, is that what other people don't know is because they're showing me the back end of your life, all the, all the balls that you were juggling all at once. And that was so tough because you didn't have any help. You didn't have anybody there with you. So please know that this is their way of acknowledging in heaven that they are okay, that they are with you. And every day that goes by, 
they are your two angels watching over you from heaven. And one day when you pass, not for many, many years, right? So don't rush your way. But after many, many years, please know that your, that your sons will be there and you will see them again. Thank you. And I got to tell you something, you know, this is something that I, you always learn from, from different passings and different things. I feel like not only you needed to hear this message, but I feel like I needed to hear this message today too. Because Alexa and I, it's so weird. Yesterday we went pool shopping for a new house and we're getting a, we're getting a new pool and uh, installed. And, you know, I was, I was like, okay, what type of safety precautions are we gonna do? And then today, how crazy your two, your two boys came through, you know? And now this makes me think twice about some of the things that we're gonna do in our own life after, see, after hearing the stories of your sons. So I just wanna let you know that this reading is always gonna stay with me for that reason. And I'm gonna make sure on, uh, in honor of your boys, they're always gonna protect my son from that. Do you know that your boys just actually said to me, this is Matt, do you know that sometimes my mom like just rides around the car and pretends like we're in there? Is that true? Lot. So know that anytime that you're riding in the car and sometimes you just think or you feel like your two kids are back there with you, know that they truly are and that they are not holding you accountable on the other side. The only one that's causing that guilt is you. So let it go because this is proof and validation that your boys are okay and they are there and with you. Thank you so much. All right, I'm gonna leave you with that. Okay. Sad. Very sad. All right. Did you guys take notes? I took notes. That went really fast for uh, uh, seven minutes. Yeah, it's just, just under seven minutes. Went fast for me, at least. Um, I got a whole lot of nothing, but I guess you guys got something. Please leave it in the comments. I would appreciate that. Please like, please share this video. And I do love to get comments from you, especially ones that show that you actually are listening to the readings as I am and understanding them and have insight into them. Tell me if you think I'm right. Tell me if you found something more. Um, I'm very interested in the way you guys um, are able to use your expertise in the world as human beings who have had lives and putting things together and and okay. so first off this reading feels like it has been cut and edited i did, i was taking notes i wasn't really looking at the screen that much as much as i should probably to be able to have understood if there was edits but just listening to it it felt like there was things edited out the first thing he said, who had a procedure and something else? And they said, oh, that was an uncle. I'm thinking, well, how do you know it was an uncle? Because don't people have procedures all the time in your family? And it could have been a neighbor, or it could have been a teacher, it could have been any amount of people. And what, what exactly is a procedure? You know, I, I'm not quite sure. So right off the bat, he knew that there was children who were drowned and she said they were she he said there were two souls and i thought for sure i kind of wonder if i should go back and listen to that very beginning again what do you guys think you can fast forward it i'm gonna pause i'm gonna go back and look okay so i did go back and look hamilton went and looked too right ham did you go see it yeah he went and watched it again with me so um at the very beginning he says who had a procedure or an operation and they immediately went my uncle okay that's just give me a break um, and he left that so now he left it because was it cut i don't know but i felt like it was still there was missing part content in here okay so he doesn't start off with the drowning and it's interesting because i've read the the um the the name of this video, I went blank there, connects mother with two sons lost to tragic drowning. So in my mind, I'm thinking he's talking about drowning two children uh, who had drowned, even though he doesn't actually say that at the beginning. So it's funny how our brains work. And it was only like a couple, well, seven minutes ago since I heard him talking about this, but I, and I made notes, but I, I still missed that part is that he is 
he says, who are the two? Oh, I'm, I'm getting two children who passed. Okay, so we don't know if he just said two children who have passed in a generic way, like you would say um, the same thing about who had an operation and or procedure that so you make the connection you throw something out there who are the two two children that passed and i feel like there's two children who have passed well that could have been two miscarriages or it could have been two adult children and it could have been anything or he knows that this woman wants to connect with her two sons um I'm not 100% sure. I, if he did, I think that he is saying he he knew there were two children who had died, possibly young, but he didn't know drowning. Maybe not. I'm not quite sure. It's hard to say um, because I think some things are missing out of this. And the reason why I think that that might have been important is because uh, later on, he says, they didn't know danger. And she says um, that he says that, you know, you're carrying this around with you. And she says it was 12 years ago today. So I have a feeling that she um, said something about that in either the communication with with the Matt Frazier people or Matt Frazier himself or something, because it sounds very very much like this was an anniversary date obviously she's still grieving of course we'd all still be grieving over our, our children who had died in such a tragic way but i'm saying that because she says it was 12 years ago today i think that this was something she had gotten this reading intentionally for this day and said something to somebody and that's how matt knew that there were two children that had died tragically um, on the same day she might have said you know this is the anniversary of my children's death and i really need a reading badly or it could have been any of those things but that's what i expect he had to ask how old they were and he never once mentioned their names he never once mentioned their personalities he never mentioned anything other than she did say they were sons so he knew there were boys, but that's it. Nothing else happened. And you'll you'll pay attention to it that there's there's this music that cues in at certain times when it's the more emotional times. So I think it's a huge miss that he did not know these children's names. Because if the children, the children are two and a half, three and a half, they certainly know their their own names. If they know if if they're truly living somewhere and able to watch over mother, their mom and send him messages and say, the children are telling me this. Well, you would think they would be able to say their names. Um, he says, do you have their footprints? I'm seeing footprints. And she says, we have their handprints. And he's like, good. Well, of course you have their handprints. They're two and a half and three and a half. Of course you have handprints of the children. That's And then he said something about, you have their artwork that they created. Well, of course she still has their artwork. I mean, she's a mom. So there's got to be some artwork. And of course you have handprints. And, oh, also to keep as a reminder to you that you and I are watching this and we're seeing Matt come up when he's talking and then he goes away and then the two women come up and then Matt when he's talking and when they talk you see only one or the other. You don't ever see them together on the same Zoom screen, right? And the reason behind that is that's how um, they recorded it. But when they're having their reading, they're on screen like this the whole time. You see the two women and Matt at the whole time. So that means Matt can see all their expressions and anything that's going on over in the other, on their screen the whole time. But we're missing that. So if he's cold reading, which of course he is, um, these women, and he's getting cues from what they're saying or what they're doing, then he knows which way to go because he can tell. Like, for example, 
when he came up with the who had a procedure or an operation and the woman says our uncle which means that those are probably sisters right there our uncle and then it cuts and it goes right to two children so what is missing may be a conversation with uh, matt saying you know we really want to have some we really want to hear from our two children or our our two little boys or it could have been anything like that that she says this is the anniversary of their death and if all of that was cut out and then he just repeats it later and then she says it's been 12 years today we we don't know we don't know um that that part had been missing so when matt says i'm getting two two children there could have been 10 minutes of them talking about how she had lost her children sort of and he's like well let me try to connect to him and then he talks about something else and then he comes back and then he says i'm getting the two children and she's not going to say yeah because i was just telling you about two children a few minutes ago she's not going to say that she's just going to say oh my gosh they are here right so you know there's a lot missing in these videos and that's why these edited videos are not as interesting to look at i mean i guess it's interesting to see how it works but so, so all this stuff is all typical um a lot of care by you you did all the care for well you've got a two and a half and a three year and a half year old and he's he says the father's kind of not you know you're doing all the work and she says well the father had nothing to do with him he was out of their lives so that means that she's going to have a lot of care she's going to have to give to them right a lot of guilt well no kidding your two very young children died by drowning so um she feels responsible of course she feels responsible of course she feels a lot of guilt they drowned um and she's looking for them well of course she's looking for them because because she didn't like see them drown in front of her it wasn't like she's standing there and then they fell into the water and she wasn't able to get them out so of course she's looking for them she would have been able to get a two and a three-year-old out of out of the water if she's standing there looking right at him keeping him away from the water right so this also he says kind of he's kind of skirting the issue if she was the one responsible for this he's saying forgive yourself for it and those kinds of things but we don't know that she wasn't responsible for it we don't know if um she was at fault for whatever she did we don't we don't know at all anything that happened i hope that she had just turned her back and they had gone and and she didn't do due diligence um but it just you know we we just don't know the whole story and for matt to be saying these things you know as if he knows uh they didn't know danger yeah two and a half three and a half possibly didn't uh then he tells her you need to move on now this is odd he says you need to move on and then he says they're sending you signs and then he says and she says oh i see cardinals all the time if there's some cardinals here in california then we've got a problem because we're not going to see cardinals here um, you love them well yeah accidents happen no kidding and you had no help and you were trying to you were trying to you know, too many balls in the air and stuff like that he said when you ride around in the car you pretend they're still in the back seat in the back okay well, she kind of was like she kind of started crying and she just said some mumbled something i didn't quite understand but she said what is it with you pick a spot <laughs> what is it with these cats um and he says so whenever you're in the car with them they're that they're connecting to you that's how they okay so he's first saying move on get over the guilt and and let go more but yet he's saying every time you see a bird you know that he, they're sending you birds and then when you're driving around a car they're actually there so it's not quite moving on but all right whatever they're not holding you accountable 
I don't know. Should they? I don't know. I'm a, I'm a mom and mistakes happen, but it, it just really bothers me that two children would be around. Now, he said they got out. So we're not talking, they were in one fall of the other one. So we're not talking about a bathtub or, you know, I guess it could have drowned in a thing of water or something when it was raining, or it could have been a stream but, or, or a swimming pool. Was she, I know, the whole thing just really, is just, oh, it's awful. All right, keying music, make sure you pay attention to that. Um, I'm curious what you guys have to say because it's, Again, he didn't say anything that was relevant other than to um, what we probably, he probably already knew that these are two small children that had died. And I do think this was heavily edited and some a lot of it was left out because you don't go from that first statement with the procedure and a, or an operation and immediately go to two souls coming through the two children that had died together or whatever he said. Okay, as usual, I'm very interested in your comments and I'm very interested in what you guys said, but um, I'm not giving him anything on this one. I don't, she helped pick out their clothes and added stuffed animals to their caskets. Well, yeah, duh. Anyway, that he can continue doing this to these poor grieving people and just keep pushing it when they actually need to see a grief counselor, a licensed grief counselor, not this guy who says he's helping. That ain't help. I'm sorry. That's not how you give help to people.